Now, it's 1921, and not a lot of people are thinking about electrons, except for the writers of comic books and the readers of comic books. The invention of television, arguably the most significant technology of the 20th century, was dependent on understanding electrons. Nobody had it except for a 14-year-old kid in Rigby, Idaho. Are you Mr. Tolman? Yeah. My name's Philo Farnsworth. My family just moved here. I'm starting school on Monday. The invention of the television in itself is an amazing thing. It's, it's changed the lives of everyone around the world. I need $20,000 to set up a lab and design a device that will let me transmit pictures, moving pictures, electronically through the air, and then reassemble them again at great distances, all in a fraction of a second. Who better to tell that story than the Academy Award-winning writer of The Social Network? It's uh, written by Aaron Sorkin. Aaron Sorkin did The Newsroom. He wrote some brilliant television shows. Uh, Sports Night, uh, A Few Good Men, you just can't beat getting a script from Aaron Sorkin. Sorkin's script moves back and forth in time, combining historical fact with the memories of two American icons who were battling over the right to claim the invention. Aaron Sorkin creates um, a conflict between David and Goliath. It's basically about two guys. Uh, Philo Farnsworth and David Sarnoff. Uh, on one side you have my character Philo Farnsworth who is, who is fighting to, uh, to create this first working electronic model because up until now everyone's been working on mechanical television. And then it parallels that with big broadcasting mogul uh, David Sarnoff. David Sarnoff was the president of RCA. He created NBC. He's uh, the, the big New York businessman who's trying to capitalize on, on this new upcoming invention that is television. Both of them being driven by things that have happened in their past, in their childhood. One by inspiration and the other one by tragedy. Take your hands off me before I make you shoot me in front of 200 people. And then they burned his house down while they watched. The family moved to the Lower East Side of Manhattan. The Farnsworth invention moves with all the passion and drama people expect from Sorkin. You might not even know you're getting a history lesson. If everybody could just have it! He's right if you knock something loose. Did you leave a cigarette burning in the ashtray over the bathroom table? What? Did you leave a cigarette burning in the ashtray? Well, what does it matter if I left it? It has something for the history buff, it has something for the um, uh, the romantic uh, in you. It has something for the people who like serious drama. Uh, we have some humor in it. It really addresses a wide range of, of people. If you liked West Wing, if you liked, um, like I said, Newsroom or Sports Night, or for that matter, uh, A Few Good Men, which was another one of his scripts, uh, you'll love this. You will love this. Ah, it is! <laughs> This is Kathy Whiteman reporting.